everybody, it's Kelly, and today I'm back with a double page layout for you since it's Two Page Tuesday. And I'm going to start my layout with this Argyle paper. That is from Echo Park Meow, and it's the journaling cards paper. And then I'm going to mount that on that gold paper, kind of a little um, squiggly lined paper. That is from Echo Park Meow, and it's the cat border strips paper. And then I want some sort of stripe or something to kind of transition between the two papers. But when I do a transition, I really like to cover it with another piece, like when I do it like with this between two patterns like this, I really want another piece of paper that's a little bit more plain or some washi tape, something like that to really help with that transition between the two. So I'm going to use this striped paper, which is the Echo Park Meow Kitty Stripe. And I'll put that down. So I have these photos of my grandson and he's making friends with my cats, um, especially my male cat who really is not a lover of anybody but me. He, he'll tolerate a couple other people in his life, including my mom, but even with her and she's around him a lot and he still is not quite so fond of her. She does have one friend who he loves, but I think it's because we sort of look alike. We have the same color hair and it's about the same length. So. He must be comforted a little bit that she's kind of like me. It's the only thing I can, only reason I can think of that he would be um, okay with her. So I decided um, I wanted to put a border on the bottom of these, this striped paper here. So I grabbed my Martha Stewart, uh, this Martha Stewart punch. So I, I don't think this would be available anymore because she's not, um, making products like this at, anymore, at least for Michael's, that's where this came from. So there's that piece. And I'm just trying to match up so the pattern makes a little bit of sense. And honestly, I didn't get met, met, matched up very well. But I store in ring binders, so they don't sit right. These pages won't sit right next to each other anyway. I'm not that concerned about it. Okay. So then, now that I have that down, I want kind of a smaller section of this to show. But I like, I really like these two patterns together. So I'll get that glued down. And then I decided to use this more brighter, more bright, um, turquoise washi tape. I guess brighter would be the correct word there. That's from Bella Boulevard. So then I'll get that down. And I did um, like stagger my photos here. They're not exactly the same. I think I was looking at a sketch from Pinterest, although I didn't use anything other than the way the photos were scattered, if I remember correctly. I do have Pinterest boards. I'm, I'm on Pinterest as Kelly O. Black, and I've got Pinterest boards for square photos, sketches, and um, just a regular scrapbook page idea. I also think I have like some mood board inspiration on there too, if you're looking for some. And I don't add to it a ton, but I do add to it every so often when I find a sketch I like. It's kind of like I have a lot of sketches there now. Oh, and I have two page sketches. So I have, or I have a two page um, Pinterest board as well. So I have both sketches and layouts in that so that sometimes I'll look at that. All right, so I decided I really liked that cut apart piece and it's from the Die Cuts with the View Playful Pets Cat Tags paper. And I really like the idea of um, journaling on that paper. So it's not an exact, match to this, but it's pretty close to the blue that's in this particular um, collection. So I put it on this side. I did cut off the right side there uh, because I'm going to just tuck it underneath. And then I like this C is for cat sticker. That came from the Echo Park Meow element stickers, but I decided I wanted to back it to, so it pops off the background a little bit more. So I put a uh, piece of black paper from Echo Park Meow that's the kitty stripe paper, so the back of that striped paper behind it so it pops up, it, you, it pops a design even more. 
I do love this little cut apart that says perfect from the um, cat tags paper that die cuts with the view paper. But I'm not, I'm not liking how it's sitting under these pieces because then I feel like I need another one on the other side. Do like the cool cat, but back to the sea. The thing that's bothering me about that cat is it's facing to the right. And so so is this other cat here, but it just feels like I'm not, I don't know, like it needs to be stopped. So what I decided to do to emphasize this journaling card even more, I put it on black paper and I'm going to put it on the uh, right hand side there and even though normally I wouldn't do this because the cat's looking to the right it feels kind of like or it's positioned well it's looking straight ahead but it feels I don't know felt like it was looking off to the right a little bit to me but I think it's okay because I'm journaling around it if that makes any sense so trying to use that perfect again because I really like it and I love this little this cat that came from the um, meow element stickers I decide to put it on the bottom here so more towards the bottom and it just it gives now me three sort of bigger areas to draw your eye across the layout so the cat sticker the perfect embellishment cluster and then the journaling and I will put other little elements in here like this little furry friend sticker but I think your eye catches that in the middle and that's from the element stickers from the meow collection as well so the perfect is from again from that um, playful pets cat tags and then I just pulled some little paw stickers from the um, Meow Element stickers. And I really liked how that kind of uh, looked in the end. I thought it was cute. Then I did um, find a little phrase sticker there that says uh, Friendly Feline. And that came from the Bella Boulevard Riley Treasures in Text. That's a sticker sheet. So I like how that turned out. And then I want some other different elements, different textures. So you know I'm pulling out the enamel dot. So I do love these cats here. So that is from the doodlebug shape sprinkles and it's the kitten smitten ones. And it just goes so well with the gold background. So I decided to use those. And then again, to emphasize more of that gold I want like a yellow or gold but I'm not finding the right one until I grab these eyelet outlet and brads um, enamel dots and they're like perfect they're a perfect match to that gold background They've got a little bit of a gold mustardy color to them so I'm just gonna add three of them in each of the embellishment areas so I you know I technically have four embellishment areas here but that furry friend somehow to me just reads as a um, another extension of the seat of the cat. If you'd wanted to add an odd number, I could have put them up against the picture on the far right. All right, guys, there's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody. Bye.